Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, discuss, indulge in is music related. I got another bomb episode for y'all. But before I begin, y'all do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chising. If you'd like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael U.S., also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. For those of you, you know, you're probably in a different genre. You're probably more into pop, rock, country. But today, we're going to talk about a hip-hop artist, uh, YK Osiris. YK Osiris, this nigga decided it was a good idea not to pay his barber. He went to the barber shop, and he, uh, I guess... He went to the same barber twice. The first time he paid the barber, the second time he tried to run off on her. He tried to run off on the plug. He tried to run off on the barber. And there's a lot of that. We expect that from broke ass niggas, but why K.O. Cyrus got money? Unless he's like the rest of these broke ass rappers out here. But I'm going to play y'all a quick clip of his version and the girl's version, and I'm going to get right back with you. To address a similar situation, Barber Bill. Another barber who calls herself legend had to take to social media to address a similar situation after not receiving payment from YK Osiris as promised. All right, I had to have to come to the internet with this, but I guess I got to. Y'all know I cut my first celebrity client, YK Osiris, last week. I charged him 150 for the cut. The cut went up. He paid me 200 He tipped me $50. No complaints. But he had hit me up to come line him up uh, last Tuesday. I went, lined him up. I charged him $100 for the lineup. This nigga hit me with the, all right, I'm going to cash at you. Instantly, I knew I was like, hey. I'm like, I don't think he gonna do me like that. It's just a hundred dollars. It's not a hundred K. But in fact, he did. Mm -hmm. I'm in LA right now. I, I don't know what's going on. How, why these niggas not paying? This this is just crazy. You know you gotta pay. Just like when you go out to eat. When I used to serve, I used to be a server. People used to run out. You know you gotta pay these people. You know. That people rely on tips. You know she relied on you paying her. That's how she survived. This is her art. This is her craft. This is her livelihood. And you ain't gonna try to pay. And you supposed to be some superstar. This is putting a stain on this nigga uh, superstardom. I was in Atlanta at the time. So it was three hours. So it was at 10 o'clock. I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna give it a few days. Maybe he's super busy. So I gave it a few days, right? Up until yesterday, I got tired. I was like, okay, cool. Let me hit him up and see what's going on. Because it's been too long. This is what he says. And then proceeds to post this video on his story. Hey, look. I'm okay, cashing me everybody's birthday this in September. Oh. Don't ask me why. Bro, I'm like, this can't be real life. Like, this cannot be real life. What's crazy is when I posted the video, I had my, my followers commenting, like, make sure he pay you because you know he like to run off. But I was being so nice. This ain't the first time. So this barber right here got finesse. He, she's probably the, the fifth or sixth. We know that there's at least two, but... You know, there could be anywhere from eight to ten barbers that he ran off on. And this nigga called himself a star, a, a music star. Like, come on, bro, that you cannot do that. But I want to see what he said in that text. Hold on. And we'll dive into it. It says, yo, what's up? I know you a busy person. I tried to give it some time, but I was wondering if you could cash up that $100. This is the barber talking. I was wondering if you could cash yet. That be she been thinking about that hundred dollars, bro. Ain't nothing free. I'm thinking about. If, I wonder if you can cash at me that hundred dollars you owe me for that lineup I did on Tuesday. This is his response. It's okay, Osiris, right here. Let me just do a little uh, script with this. Okay, Osiris. I'm mean, sorry, not okay. YK. Mm hmm. It's like those Osiris right here. And I'll make a little arrow. Yep. Yeah, my shit was down. Cause I cash up too much. Hold on. 
Y'all hear what this nigga said? <laughs> this nigga said because he sent too much money. This is what niggas do. They'll lie, right? They make it seem like they got it all together. At the same time, they're demonstrating that their shit is falling apart. This nigga said the reason why he can't cash up his barber, the one in the blue, is because he's sending out too much money. Well, if you send out too much money, all of a sudden, when it's time for me to get mine, it ain't working. You send the money to me, and then your people, and then your auntie, your cousin, all these people. When it's time for me to get paid, all of a sudden, your cash app ain't working. All of a sudden, there's some technical difficulties. You see that? The reason why he said that he used it too much, either he's getting money or sending money. Either way, he's letting the barber know he got money. Either it's going out either it's going out because he's balling, he's taking care of investments, blah, blah, blah. He, he moving shit or the money's coming in so fast. So he's letting the barber know, I got money. Don't worry about that. So the barber looking crazy. Like, okay, you keep saying you, your money coming in and out on your cash app. How come it's not working when it's time to get mine? <laughs> All of a sudden. Coincidentally, <laughs> niggas will lie in your face and make you feel stupid. And, and, and they get, a lot of niggas get mad. Let me tell y'all something. Especially black folk. A lot of black folk get mad when you call them out when they bullshit. Come on, let's talk about it. Okay, okay, so we got both sides. We got both sides. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Would y'all like to hear my opinion? Would y'all like to hear about my opinion about why K.O. Sauer is running off not paying this girl for a haircut? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Based off the evidence, what I've seen, which is probably more to this story, I think uh, why K.O. Sauer is maybe not doing too good. I don't think he's doing too good because you can't say you booked a haircut and don't have the money. You know, he's talking about his the way his he started sounding like Kevin Hart, the way my cash app was set up. I really couldn't uh pay her at the time, so I had to wait three days and after the three days I had to do a transfer and that's gonna take another two days because uh one of my checks bounced. I was like all kinds of excuses, all kind of shit is jumping off with Y O K Ris Y K Osiris's bank account. It's a little fishy why he couldn't pay this girl. You know, uh, there's a little back and forth. But y'all let me know how y'all feel. Y'all let me know. 250 capital G. Rooted in Music TV. I'm gone.